Wake up, Grace Point, and welcome into the Grace Point Daily Podcast. Going to try and start stacking them together. Wake up, Grace Point, and the Wake up, Grace Point. Wait, Grace Point Daily Podcast. So, hey, Merry Christmas to you guys. Hope you are enjoying the holiday season thus far. I've been taking it in. I've had the Carthage Christmas Parade here in our local area. Uh, I've been a part of some other Christmassy events, so I'm feeling quite Christmassy thus far. So let's dive into it. We're getting back into this article called uh, 12 Signs That You Are a Modern Day Pharisee. The idea being we don't want to be a Pharisee, right? Because they, uh, the Pharisees miss Jesus. So anyway, we did one, two, and three. Now we're going to do four, five, six. This coming from an article out of churchleaders.com. Thought a little bit thought-provoking that I'd share with you. So let's move on to number four today. Number four was you don't need to, you don't repent of sin. You don't have any serious sin to repent of. Remember that time the modern day Pharisee repented of sin in their life? Oh wait, they never have. What is a Pharisee? Pharisees are people who don't have any serious sin to repent of. Pharisees have a reputation and status to maintain. Repentance involves vulnerability and weakness. Pharisees don't show weakness. And I do think that can become a danger the farther we get in the journey of faith is we want to, you know, act like maybe we figured it out or we're more spiritual and, 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 and God forbid, we don't have any sins, you know. Uh, but, you know, we want to continue throughout the duration of our life here on earth and in our spiritual life. We want to continue to have a heart of repentance and vulnerability and that that's what keeps us sensitive. That's what keeps us, keeps a passionate pursuit and walk with the Lord. So amen. Number five, you make every issue black and white. What is a Pharisee? The Bible is, a gray, is, is gray on many issues, but modern day Pharisees don't deal in the world of gray. They must have everything black and white, in or out, yes or no, up or down. You see, if an issue is gray, modern day Pharisees have to do some work to work on their heart. And Pharisees don't work on the heart. They don't consider motives. Here's another thing about gray. It does not allow modern day Pharisees to keep up keep score. Black and white issues, however, allow them to keep a tally of their righteousness. I have never drank or smoked or gambled or cheated on my wife. Who cares if their heart is full of lust, anger, and envy? And that is an interesting one, isn't it? I think we are good at hyping up the big sins, but, you know, we can get in the Bible and realize that anger, there are a lot of these sin uh, gossip, you know, that probably are very active in the life of the church, but just because it's not like one of the big ones that we often think of, then we just kind of move it off to the side or whatever it might be. All right, one more. We're just doing three a day here. Is uh, you would never condone homosexuality or fornication, but have no problem watching movies that do. Oh, this thought. So again, this is not my article, my words, but just thought provoking, something to munch on. Uh, if someone were to preach on the evils of homosexuality or sex before marriage, a modern day Pharisee would nod his his or her head in agreement. Yeah, that's right, uh, preacher. Preach on but on sunday night they plop down in the recliner and find humor from a movie or tv show glamorizing the very thing that they uh, just agreed was wrong this is the real issue with modern day pharisees they love to put on a show when the lights are on they want people to think they are righteous but jesus does not inform the rest that does not inform the rest of their lives uh Wow. Well, you know, that that's an interesting one and something that we have to really consider because we are media, social media, all these things are, are bombarding us and they are just now they are part of our lives, whether we want to or not. I don't think it's realistic to say, you know, I'm not going to ever watch anything or, you know, whether you like, for example, in my house, we don't have a TV, but yet I'm still exposed because I have my smartphone and podcasting and just have to upload to YouTube. And so I'm, I'm, I'm always by nature, even if I wanted to not be, uh, it's, we're going to be interacting with these things. So we have to be careful and it is crazy. You know, we can uh, act so religious and yet, you know, whether it's movies, TV shows. So again, the goal isn't to, I'm not trying to get in a debate on that. Okay. So please, we don't need to turn it into a bait, but just again, we're, we're just thinking about this. Like, do I have pharisaical, way, pharisaical ways, <laughs> you know, uh, am I, do I practice what I preach? You know, am I, um, do I have a repentant heart? Am, you know, those kind of things. So I, I think you're a Pharisee if you want to just argue all of these things and be like, oh, blah, blah, blah. but it's just saying, God, help us to have clean hands and pure heart. Let us be open in our spiritual life. Um, let us 
not be checklist Christians. You know, we're like, I did this, I did this, I'm good. I'm a perfectly good spiritual Christian, uh, but always keeping our heart open, sensitive, and hungry for the Lord. So anyway, you, you look up, look, look that up. Why don't you make that a Bible study if you want to and look up the Pharisees in the Bible in the New Testament and how they interacted with Jesus and some of the things that they represented and the things that Jesus did not like and challenge yourself with the thought or idea or, or any of these things a part of my life where God is there any areas that I need to work on or change or whatever it might be. So there you go. We're just talking each and every day here on the Wake Up Grace Point, Grace Point Daily podcast. So, hey, God bless you guys. Let me say a prayer for you. Father, the bottom line here is we don't want to be Pharisees. Lord, we want to have, we want to be authentic, real Christians that love and serve you every day of our lives. And so we need you. We need your help. God, we want to stay vulnerable. We want to keep our hearts open and sensitive, teachable. Lord, we love you, Jesus. And God, we never want to uh, not, we don't want to be a Pharisee. God, we want to love you and serve you with a genuine passion and pursuit. So, Thank you, Lord. I bless your people today in Jesus' name. Amen. Hey, guys, encourage you to uh, connect with us on Wake Up Grace Point, also the Grace Point Daily Podcast. Give us comments, reactions. Let me know how I can pray for you. So God bless you guys. We'll talk to you next time.